go to combine queries we will click on merge we have left nt join and the right nt join and we will be applying it quickly and we will be proceeding to the next topic of the webinar so i will select the table one here and then table two here identify the common key and then i will select left nt join and i'll press ok so now the power query window will appear with the data and as you can see that there is a formula bar here in the power query which consists of m language code uh, m language and if you want to go to advanced editor you can explore the m language as well so m language is not much difficult it, it just need a lot of practice and with the time and experience you will get at hands on to it but this is very uh, important language to learn these days so now i will expand the columns from the table two and uh, i will click on close and load so all the transactions which were not matching from the table two will come in the left nt join and as you can see as an output that all the transactions from table one which were not matching uh, gives me as an output right and the last kind of a join which is the sixth kind of a join which i am telling you explaining you in the webinar is the right nt join so again i go to merge option and i will select two tables table one table two always remember that you need to give a proper nice names to your merging uh, databases otherwise it will come like merge one merge two merge three which will you will uh, later on you will confuse that what kind of a table it is mm -hmm always gives a proper name so product id will be the common column and in the join kind from this list as now you can observe that i do i don't need to write any kind of a sql here i just need to select the right kind of a join so in this last example i am selecting the right nt join and i will press ok and now the power query editor window is uh, visible and from here I will expand the table two, and as we can see that all those transactions from the right table which were not matching from the left is uh, is my output. So I will press close and load button, and it will give me an output in my Excel interface. Right. So so far so good. We have uh, discussed six different kind of a join, their purposes and their behaviors as an output in in the Excel. Uh, the same interface, uh, the same concept will remain in, in the Power BI as well.